All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a list of six studios that I think Sony should buy. Now, many people have done videos and lists like this. These are just my personal picks of what I believe would be smart and good acquisitions to add to the Sony first party studios. Now, before I get into my list, I have to address a few things. Just recently, Microsoft announced that they are acquiring ZeniMax and all the Bethesda studios under their umbrella. And back in around 2018, I believe, they acquired a whole bunch of other studios also to add to the Microsoft first party lineup, which is great for them. And I've seen what I believe to be drastic overreactions and irrational comments in regards to PlayStation's position heading into the next generation and the status of their first party studios. There is also a current rumor that Microsoft is either planning to buy Sega or partner up with Sega in some manner or another, and we will learn the truth to that in the next couple of days. Now, let me come out and say, I see absolutely nothing wrong with what Microsoft is doing. What Xbox is doing is reactionary and based on their position in gaming. The Xbox One generation was marred with disappointment and failure left and right. And the rhetoric that haunted them for the entire generation was that Xbox has no games. So from 2018 to now, they have been buying up studios to get rid of that rhetoric so those studios can make a whole bunch of games. And that is not something that can be labeled upon them anymore. And I applaud them for that once again. And I've seen the word monopoly get thrown around recently in regards to what Microsoft is doing. And I highly disagree with that because gaming has grown so much to a point that there are more independent game studios in existence than ever before. So a monopoly is not something I believe we have to worry about. Now the PlayStation is in a very different position than the Xbox. The PlayStation is coming off its second most successful generation ever. And honestly, in some capacities, in some ways, you can say it's most successful generation. I only say second because the PlayStation 2 actually sold about 155 units and the PlayStation 4 hasn't surpassed that, but it surpassed and broke records in other ways that the PlayStation 2 did not. But I say that to say this, PlayStation does not have to act rash, does not have to panic or be irrational in their moves going forward. They just have to be strategic because I've seen a lot of people throw out comments like Sony needs to respond and buy a studio like Square Enix or Capcom or Konami. And to that, what I have to say is those would not be smart moves, especially not Konami. For one, Konami is an absolute shell of its former self. You would be buying, at this point, you would be buying a name and not a talent. And the relevancy of their IPs are currently in question. So people just throw out names like that, but they don't really think that through. Konami would not be a smart move. And I think Capcom or Square Enix would just be a panic move to match something similar or close to what Microsoft did with buying ZeniMax and Bethesda. But as I said, because of the position PlayStation is, they do not have to match exactly what Xbox did. Sony's strength lies in their ability to cultivate talent, to build up studios from the infancy or their mid years and build them into greater, better studios. Microsoft has not exhibited the same patience and the same ability to cultivate smaller studios and build them up. So they tend to buy more established studios like Bethesda and others, which I do not criticize at all. They have the ability to do it, they should. But when you look at Sony's history and their studios, they can cultivate. So they should use that strength and that ability when choosing the studios that they want to add to the Sony first party lineup. And now I will get into my list based on saying that. The first studio on my list, and by the way, this list is in no particular order, but the first studio on my list is From Software. I believe this really doesn't need an explanation. From Software, the studio that literally created 
an entirely new genre and sparked a phenomenon of many games that came after it and were influenced by it. They've made games like Demon Souls, they're currently working on Elden Ring, Sekiro, uh, Shadows Die Twice, the Dark Souls series, Bloodborne, and they have a great relationship with PlayStation. And even before those games, they have uh, an extensive uh, resume of games such as Armored Core and uh, Evergrace, Eternal Ring, Kingsfield back in the day. So yeah, it's a no brainer that Sony should definitely get from software. Now, From Software is a very established studio. Now, the next studio on my list was founded in 1996, but since that time, they've mostly worked on smaller titles, and that's Housemark, another studio that PlayStation has a great relationship with. They've made games like Dead Nation, Alien Nation, uh, Matterfall, Next Machina, Resogun, and they are currently working on Returnal. Now, I will say this, I think this purchase should be contingent on the quality and the performance of Returnal. Because as I've said, they've mostly worked on smaller titles, so this will be like the biggest game they've worked on in scale and scope. So I think we need to see how they do and how they handle this. Because we know they can make the smaller titles, but when they like step up everything and increase their production values with the three dimensions of story, visuals, and gameplay, I want to see how they do. So I think this purchase should be contingent upon how Returnal does. The next studio on my list is Remedy Entertainment. Now Remedy's games already fit into what most Sony first party studios do really well, which is linear story driven games. They've made games like Max Payne, Alan Wake, because they've had a previous uh, partnership and good relationship with Microsoft, uh, Quantum Break, and most recently Control, and they are working on the Crossfire uh, campaign. Now, most people believe that Remedy is a shoe in and what I've always said about Remedy games is they've never made a bad game, in my opinion, but they've never quite made a masterpiece either or anything that's kind of close to a masterpiece. They've always kind of been, been on the fence of great, but not amazing. So I think the backing of a publisher like Sony could really kind of push them past that threshold and make them one of the elite developers in the industry. And that's why I think PlayStation should definitely pick them up. Now, the next two studios on my list is to help Sony first party studios with their multiplayer offerings because one thing I keep complaining about in regards to PlayStation is they do not offer enough multiplayer experiences. And listen, Sony charges for online. So Sony should be the one to provide more online multiplayer experiences. You can't just use third party multiplayer games as a crutch and an excuse. You have to provide more because you are the one that's charging for online. I know people choose to, you know, kind of ignore the fact that Sony isn't providing enough multiplayer games, but I don't excuse that and I don't ignore it. So the next studio on my list is Digital Extremes, most recently known for Warframe. Now listen, I'm not a fan of Warframe whatsoever. I literally think the game is boring. I played it when it first came out, never went back to it. They've supported the game up until now and are still supporting it. Now, even though I'm not a fan of Warframe, they are a studio that is very capable in the multiplayer field. They've made Warframe, but they've also worked on the multiplayer for Bioshock 2, Homefront, Unreal Tournament 2003, Unreal Tournament 2004, and a few other multiplayer games. So they are very capable in that field. And Sony needs some studios who can make some more multiplayer games. And that is a fact. I may not like Warframe, but I think this studio is very capable and the next multiplayer game that they make, I could possibly love. So I think Sony should get Digital Extremes and that is a very underrated studio that people have not really given much thought to on the list of studios that PlayStation should buy. Now the next studio on my list, which I previously stated would also be for multiplayer, is High Res Studios. High Res Studios has created 
plenty of popular multiplayer games like Realm Royale, Paladins, Smite, Tribes Ascend, and most recently, my favorite multiplayer game of this generation and in a long time, Rogue Company. This studio makes really good multiplayer games. With all the studios that Sony has and with the other studios that I named that they should get to add to uh, make mo uh, single player games, I think it would be a great balance for them to add these two studios for the multiplayer side of things. It would be a great balance and they would have a great variety more than they have now. Because I hear a lot of fans complain they don't want those other developers worrying about uh, making multiplayer games. They just want them to focus on the single player and the story. Okay, fine. Well, then Sony should pick up some studios just to work on multiplayer. These studios could even assist the other studios with the multiplayer portion of their games if you don't want the in-house studio doing it themselves. Now, this last studio has an asterisk next to it, and it's contingent upon one thing. The last studio is Blue Point Games. Now, we all know Blue Point Games to be the technical magicians who have been remaking some of the best and most beloved classic games, right? But I do not believe that Blue Point Games should continue to only make remakes for the rest of their existence. I believe you are handicapping and severely limiting their potential of what they could make if you only want them to make remakes. We don't know what their true potential is until they are given the chance and they take the chance to make something that is completely original. Story, gameplay, visuals, we should be able to see what they do. I don't think buying a studio that is pretty much a HD Xerox machine and not knowing what their other capabilities are because recreating a game when the foundation is already set for you is one thing, but creating something from scratch from your imagination is a whole other thing. And I understand they could bring on staff, they can recruit and all those things, but I still think we need to see what they can do on their own. And just subjecting them to being a remake studio is stifling their creativity and potential and just making them a one trick pony. So as I said, there's an asterisk next to Blue Point and I think we have to see them make an original game. So guys, thank you for watching. Please hit the like button. Let me know what you think about my list. If you have any other studios that you think Sony should also buy, let me know in the comment section. Uh, hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I upload a video or live stream. I, so, I appreciate all of your support and I'll catch y'all on the next video. All right, peace.